Jeffrey's woken up in the middle of the night again. He can't stop thinking about her. He's obsessing over his crush yet again. His mind, his body, his soul prioritize love above everything else. Love is so sweet, but why doesn't she reply to my text messages? Jeffrey doesn't realize he's doing it all wrong. He's allowed himself to become weak and feminine instead of strong and masculine. He's developed no masculine virtues, no masculine habits. And so of course he's having trouble attracting girls. Adonis. Adonis is woman Anastasia. <laughs> Looks at him with such a big loving smile on her face. But Adonis doesn't look back. He's focused on the mission ahead, the boar. The mighty boar that had slain him once in a past life. Adonis is focused on the mission. He is focused on his goal. With a perfect swing of his axe, Adonis takes down the mighty boar. Mission accomplished. The next mission for Adonis is to fill up his woman with love. This is the way that a masculine man lives. For all of your years in school, you were literally never taught anything about masculinity or femininity. And I think that's a shame. Because if you learned this when you were younger, you'd be able to cultivate such great, strong, masculine virtues that would have really changed your life by now. We can't go back in time and we're not going to be sat here like depressed and hopeless. What we're going to do is learn how to be more masculine right now to even find out, are you a masculine person? We'll find out right now. And then you'll have almost a pathway to go forward. Are you masculine or not? The fastest way to find out is to ask yourself, what does your mind, your body, and your soul obsess over? Is it the flow of love, intimacy? Is it constantly thinking about your crush or your girlfriend? Is it about affection and, you know, that, that girl touched me three weeks ago? Or does your mind, body, and soul obsess over making progress to goals? Does it obsess over a big goal that feels like your mission in life? Or does it obsess over a self-transcending purpose, which is all about helping the people in your tribe? Do you know which one it is? Love or progress? If it's love, chances are you're more of a feminine man. And if it's progress, chances are you're more of a masculine man. And there's another fun way, maybe it's not totally accurate to try and find out if you're masculine or feminine. When you played video games when you were younger, what did you do in them? Were you focused on a quest, a mission, leveling up? Or were you just spending time kind of idly sat there chatting to people, gossiping? In the book, The Way of the Superior Man by David Dida. 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 By David. <laughs> It's stated that a masculine man will be obsessed over his work to the point that his woman sometimes won't even be able to understand his obsession. And that a feminine woman is totally obsessed over the flow of love in her life. Namely, the love that she gets from her man. What's quite odd these days is that there are a lot of men who are just like that feminine woman. They're totally just fixated on the flow of love, intimacy, connection, affection. And they don't really think much about the goal, the work, purpose, mission. Ask yourself, when you wake up and you start your day, what is your mind thinking about? When you're having a shower, when you're having a shit, when you're just sort of disassociating, you know, you're not very present. What does your mind think about? Is it obsessing over like relationships? Or is it obsessing over like work? goals. Because if you can understand this, you'll be able to cultivate more of the masculine energy, which will get you pretty much everything that you want in life. You want to be stronger, more attractive, more confident. You want to attract more women, have more sex, have more intimacy, get into a good relationship. You want to make more money. All of those things come from being more masculine. And it's so fucking weird that the modern world has convinced you that men shouldn't be masculine anymore. The modern world has convinced men that they should be more feminine, that they should be in touch with their feminine sides. And then it turns a blind eye when these men are so depressed, suicidal. If you are not living to your authentic core energy, you will be like a shell of a person. You will navigate life with such like bullshit, intrusive thoughts that will just piss you off and upset you and make you feel so weak and timid. And this is probably how you're living. You haven't been living to your core, authentic, masculine self. You should be so much more masculine than you are right now. It is actually authentic for you to try to be more masculine because you should be more masculine if it wasn't for social conditioning if it wasn't for being conditioned brainwashed to be more like girls in school you were told to sit still cross your legs stop playing stop being adventurous stop play fighting with your friends sit still and raise your hand like you know work with the team how about some gossip be nice you weren't taught about your competitiveness. You weren't taught about your drive to compete and beat other men or boys when you were younger. You've seen masculine men made fun of in the modern day. It's almost like a running joke of any man who's more on the masculine side, instantly labeled as like an alpha male misogynist. Why do you think that is? Why do you think that is? The modern world is convincing us to be way in the middle. 
It's telling men that they shouldn't be masculine, they should be more feminine. It's telling women that they shouldn't be feminine, they should be more masculine. This could be a whole separate video. When I have this, like I've said this on my videos before, when I have this conversation with women and I literally like, we end up speaking about femininity and, and masculinity, I really wanna show you that happening live because it literally seems to like change their lives when I have a conversation with a woman and I end up just kind of like teaching her what I've learned. And obviously I'm not like the master or, or you know, expert on this, but what I've learned about masculinity, femininity, I, I like see it break into her face and it's almost like she just realizes she's been living like an inauthentic life we've been convinced to be way more in the middle androgynous neither masculine nor feminine we've just been convinced to be like the same as each other men and women are equal we can a woman can do anything that a man can men can do things around the house like men don't have to leave it to their housewives like we've been convinced of this by this fucking modern like jeffrey propaganda this weak ass propaganda and guess what now we're all depressed and lonely because we don't need each other how are you supposed to attract a feminine woman when you aren't a masculine man all you can attract is other people near the middle you bring don't fucking lie to yourself you bring both masculine masculine and feminine energy. A fair amount of feminine energy that your male ancestors didn't have. And because you bring that much feminine energy, you now can't attract a feminine woman, but you can attract more of a masculine woman. If your standards are a bit lower, fair enough, you know, you could still have a good time, but guess what? When you are here and the women you attract are right here, you don't need each other. With the smallest level of turbulence, both of you want to leave the relationship because your needs weren't even being met anyway. I promise you right now, if you watch this video and by what I said at the start of like, you know, how to find out if you're masculine or feminine and you're masculine if you focus on work and, and go if you found out that you're a bit more on the feminine side, I promise you, if you make this chapter of your life, the next six months, one year, two years, all about cultivating more masculinity, I promise you, you will experience the exact same thing that I have. You'll go from being in this androgynous middle state where you're attracting like masculine women and you're not really happy. You feel weak, docile. You feel like submissive, obsessing over relationships. You'd, you'd way prefer a woman to obsess over you, really loving you, being affectionate to you, whilst you're kind of like thinking of the mission and goals. But here you are obsessing over this girl. You can't help it. You're right in the middle i guarantee when you start to become more and more masculine you will literally see the women around you are just so beautifully feminine they serve you in ways that you can't do yourself and you serve them in ways that they can't do themselves a feminine woman inspires you revitalizes you like literally makes you so fixated obsessive over your work and your purpose your mission you have this like huge extra motivation to think oh like shit like she's looking like you'll literally visualize like this feminine woman who comes into your life when you become more masculine you'll visualize her just watching you whilst you hit some heavy sets in the gym you'll visualize her response after you've just done hours of deep work on your business. And that will feel so fucking amazing when you see her response and she's like proud of you and she's encouraging you and she's impressed. That's what we can give to each other. In return, you will give her masculine guidance and you will fill her up with so much love to make her feel so secure with you so that she can give you her everything. Both of you will combine, unite as whole, yin and yang. You bring opposite sides. You will need each other and you will have such a polarized, like energetic relationship that will fulfill you in so many ways that you've never experienced. Or you can be fine staying in the middle. Just how life is right now. How most men will continue living their lives androgynous, not masculine. Cultivating way more feminine energy just because everyone else is telling them to do it. Are you gonna keep falling for the fucking shit test? Are you gonna keep falling for that lie that men should be more feminine? Or do you wanna start pushing onto the masculine side? It's not easy, there is a lot of discomfort in this journey, a lot of hard times, <laughs> but it's so fucking worth it. If that is your goal and you wanna move over to the masculine side, then this is the revolution for you. This isn't a YouTube channel, this is a cult. We are a cult of young men aspiring to become more masculine, more strong, to get rid of these weak modern addictions, social media, porn, video games, the, the shit that have taken our brothers away from us. We literally see them just docile as fuck, staring into their phones with shitty posture. This is a new age movement of men giving up this like normal modern life that we aren't happy with, that we're also depressed and suicidal with, and we wanna rise up to actually start living like our ancestors were. And it is a beautiful journey. Welcome to the cults. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.